Tonight. And it's a serious look this Indiana team had as they arrived at the arena earlier on. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. A great view of our broadcast location today, downtown Atlanta. We're all set to bring you today's action. This is a do-or-die situation. Big Game 5, always decisive. 2K Sports presents the playoffs of the NBA. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Sabonis and Turner up front. Oladipo is the two with Warren playing small forward. And it's McConnell in at the point. And for the Hawks, Collins a power forward with Len at center. Young and Herter make up the back. And it's Hunter in at the three spot. So Atlanta will get the first possession. Now here is Young. Fires for three. Sabonis grabs the board. Oladipo taking his time here. The pass to McConnell. Back to Oladipo. Just five to shoot. Here's Turner. Collins grabs the miss. Boy, a miss like that would drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Right there, you love what Young gives you. A great facilitator in transition, and he's also a terrific finisher. Now, here's McConnell. The nine-footers on the mark. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Young passes to Lynn. Young inside. He's covered by McConnell. Here's Herder. Pass to Len. Over to the left wing. Here's Collins. He can't get that one. And Indiana will go the other way with it. They come into this one after losing on Sunday. Well, they couldn't buy a bucket at times, and that's frustrating. And that game was not their friend. Well, Greg, I thought the striking thing was how little offense they generated. It doesn't matter how stout your defense is when you play that poorly on the offensive end. Now, here's Warren. Here's Oladipo. Hits the outside fadeaway. The silky smooth jumper of Mr. Oladipo. How consistent has he become? Passes it to Young. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Oladipo, the pass to Warren. Now, here's McConnell. Back to Oladipo. That falls. Nice speed that time from Turner. Oladipo's got his second basket. This guy is a terrific mid-range shooter. Victor Oladipo, give him any space, he will take advantage. Let's it go from 14. To stop the drought, it's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Here's Collins. Oh, Kevin, how about the reach of Miles Turner? He covers so much ground to come up with these blocks. And there's the bucket from Victor Oladipo. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, I caught up with the Pacers head coach. He said what we've heard from teams many times in similar circumstances. This series doesn't really start until one team faces elimination. He knows what they're up against. They're on the road playing a great team. It's going to take probably their best effort of the season tonight to pull this one out. Kevin? Thank you, David. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Damian Jones is checked in for Alex Land. Parker comes in for John Collins. Evan Turner, he's checked in for Hunter. And it's Reddish in for Kevin Herter. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. T.J. Leaves checked in for Sabonis. Land comes in for T.J. Warren. Brogdon, he's checked in for Oladipo. And Aaron Holliday is subbed in for T.J. McConnell. On offense, here are the Pacers. They've got an 8-0 run. And Jones sends it back. Break the Hawks. 
Young with no one around. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Young's got his second bucket of the night. You have to guard Young tight. You got to know he's thinking of shooting as soon as the ball hits his hands. Here's Brogdon. He's off on that one. Good D by Parker. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Trailing by four. Shot from 16. It's rebounded by Indiana. Brogdon with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. He dishes it to Lamb. Over Turner. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. And the Hawks making a change here. Parsons has checked in. The Hawks trail by four. Turner looking around. Pass to Parker. The offensive rebound. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Parker. And Indiana making a change here. Nick Dermott's checked in. There's 57 seconds left here in the first quarter. And here's Holiday. And Jones pulls it down. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Parsons outside. Turner up top. Good D by Holiday. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. The shot's good from Leaf. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Now, Parker. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. On the wing, Turner. Atlanta again missing. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Pacers lead by six. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Starting action from the Eastern Conference semifinal. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Pacers? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. So it's the Pacers now. They lead by six, their biggest margin. And so in the game for the Pacers. They've got Doug McDermott. Brogdon out there with Leaf, and it's Bitadze in at the center, locking down the middle. Brogdon lays it up and banks it in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Turner passes to Jones. And Parker, here we go. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. This is something Jabari Parker does so well. Take it strong, take the hit, complete the play. Now here's McDermott, covered by Parsons. Bitadze, the pass to McDermott, just four to shoot. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Back to Turner. And there's the pass to Jones. Parker against Brogdon. He doesn't hit that one. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Floats one up. Tries again. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Pacers shooting their first free throws of the game. Under six. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Lenz checked in for Jones. Collins comes in for Parker. Hunter's checked in for Parsons. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Reddish. The Pacers also changing it up. Sabonis, he's checked in for T.J. Leaf. Warren comes in for McDermott. And it's Oladipo in for Aaron Holiday. The Hawks trail by nine. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Turner passes to Hunter. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Young's checked in for Turner. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Herter. Gets rebounded by Indiana. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Here's Young after the made shot from Victor Oladipo. That's it go. Herter, no good. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Sabonis with the bucket. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Indiana shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. The first one falls for him. Boy, guys, you're starting to see Victor Oladipo put it all together, aren't you? From role player early on to legit star now. Wow. Turner's checked in for the Pacers. Jeremy Lamb comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. The Hawks working the ball around. Len dishes to Young. Off the mark, and the drop continues. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. On its way from Oladipo for two. Sabonis laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Sabonis has got four points now in the quarter. Every time they time get out, scored out. on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the Ram. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. It's stolen by Oladipo. Pass to Warren. Down to five on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Trail by 17. Young passes to Collins. Here's Herder. 
he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Back to Oladipo. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Oladipo's got six here in this quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. To halt the run. Here's Len and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Well, just terrific instincts right there from Alex Len on the offensive glass. Really impressive. And Lamb kicks to Turner. Passes it to Oladipo. And then Oladipo with the jam. Well, we know Oladipo is an elite dunker, one of the most creative guys when he's at the rim. Cohens finds Young. The Pacers pull it in. Sabonis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Baseline try. No good from Lamb. The Hawks trail by 19. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Yes. Young against Oladipo. On the wing, Lamb. Those three pointers off the mark. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's the Pacers. They finish off the second quarter with a tremendous 17 to 6 run. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And the heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by myself. Taking a look at the Pacers. They had a lot of doubters out there thinking they were done in this series down 3-1. But they might want to retract those comments after that first half of basketball. This team has come out on a mission, and they're not going to go quietly. They want to force game six. And Kenny, what'd you think about what we saw from Indiana? Love the dog in Oladipo! That's my guy. Everything has come together for him the last couple of years. He could take a game over on either end. And he's doing it more consistently now. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. Really. Without major improvements defensively, this game is O V A over. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from Portside at Game 5. You look at Victor Oladipo in this game, he has been everywhere. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Young and Herter make up the back. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. And it's Len in at the five. That's the group starting the second half for Lloyd Pierce. Now Young after T.J. Warren's three-pointer that didn't go. Herter passes to Young. There's the dish to Len. This one for three. Young's shot is off. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Oladipo's got 16. Well, this is where Victor Oladipo has developed himself into an all-around threat. Doesn't matter where he is on the floor, he's dangerous. Herter offline with his three. Pacers leading by 19 points. And a missed late. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. Young's running. And there's Hunter on the assist from Young. 
And that's the advantage of having a lead guard who can both pass and shoot. Young draws attention, then takes advantage of a poor rotation defensively. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. some changes. Damian Jones comes in for Len, and Turner's subbed in for Young. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. 13 feet away. Here's Jones, and he uses the glass on the lane. Jones has got his first basket of the night. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Holiday, the pass to Brogdon. Pass to Bitadze. Indiana again, missing. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Shots good by Turner. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Leave passes to McDermott. Outside Holiday. Shoots over Turner. Holiday gets the bucket. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. The Hawks trail by 15. Atlanta calls timeout. And he has not been on his game here. He is forcing a lot of shots, and the team is suffering because of it. It's time for him to focus on getting his teammates involved. Parker's checked in for Collins. Parsons comes in for Hunter. And it's Reddish in for Kevin Herter. There's the feed to Jones. Now, here's Reddish. T right on him. And then Jones with the jam. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Now, here's Brogdon. Todd Jake can't hit. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Here's Parsons. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Four on the clock. Here's Parker. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. They are just killing him on the interior. Indiana leading by 11. Brogdon the pass to be touched. Now Brogdon. Cans it from downtown. Brogdon's got his second basket of the night. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And of course, he makes good use of it. Turner finds Jones. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Lawyers check it. I ain't happy for nothing. Two grand hands, I know I'm protected. I'm the goat, love to my shepherd. Deep, like Robin. Roll like the diamonds. Pretty good flops and styling. 
Check in for the Pacers. Lamb comes in for Doug McDermott. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter. Now, here's Brogdon. He has five. Outside Holiday, and the Pacers can't get it to go. Now, here's Reddish, guarded by Holiday. Reddish's shot is good. I'll tell you, we're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regroup. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. And Jones sends it back. He gets stolen by Lamb. Kicks to Holiday. Good on the 13-footer. Holiday's got four points this quarter. Working against size, he's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Turner, good! Turner's got his second bucket of the game to go. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. Parker with the steal. Turner against Holiday. Parker with it. It's over Brogdon, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Pacers out in front, up 10. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court for Indiana. Sabonis and Turner up front. Victor Oladipo is out there with Jeremy Lamb. And it's Warren in at the small forward spot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. So Oladipo will bring it up for the Pacers. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Count that one. Well, T.J. Warren is terrific at using his frame to become a factor on the glass. I love it. The pass to Parker. Now, here's Reddish. Started by Oladipo. A shot by Reddish, no good. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. And a wide open look for Lamb. A three pointer, no good. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Hunter's checked in for the Hawks. Kevin Herter comes in for Reddish. The Hawks trail by 10. Young outside. Yeah, the step back. And Collins is right there. Tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. And those second chance points can add up. Now, here's Oladipo. And here is Lamb. To the middle, just five on the clock. He gets it in there. Warren's got four points in the quarter. Well, you like the effort of TJ Warren capitalizing when he's shooting in the painted area. Lamb against Young. He feeds it to Collins. That shot, no good. Nice D from Sabonis. And Oladipo kicks to Lamb. 
Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Young passes to Herter. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Making the most of the screen, that's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick, no rotation, my goodness. For viewers, timeouts, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. updated from the sideline let's swing it over to David Aldridge hey guys I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break he said this is where mistakes can kill us this is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around protect the basketball and make the simple play in other words guys no hero ball right now just three to shoot here's Turner and there's two points working on the glass paying off that time Turner's got his first two points. Master Herter. Feeds the land. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. That's just nice play calling, right? And you like how quickly Lynn gets ready to catch off the roll. Passes to Warren. by Len. Well, for a big guy so light on his feet, Len rising into the air with ease. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Rock, and he's checked in for Indiana. And so here is Indiana. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Outside Warren. Back to Sabonis. And the three ball is good. Well, this is one aspect you'd like to see more of from T.J. Warren. We know he's a great scorer. Pretty dime there. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall.
here's Herder. Now Young. Two points. That one goes. And you gotta like seeing this from Young. You know, wanting to prove he's more than just a jump shooter. Oladipo outside. Here's the floater. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on DeAndre Hunter. First free throw is good, and that stretches their lead to eight. So he gets them both, and it's a nine-point ball game. 144 and left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Herder. No good on the three. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. They grab their own miss, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Right, this is the size of Miles Turner because he's so skilled at using it to pick up these fouls. Good on the first, and that will push the lead to double digits. Boy, when you think of Miles Turner, one word that's always been attached to his name is potential. This guy is still young. He can make shots as a face-up guy. He's a tremendous shot blocker. Just continue to refine your skills. That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 117 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Young. Banks in the lane. And the work ethic coming into play there. Yeah, I like how Young can just focus on the task at hand. Now the pass to Sabonis. Makes it off the glass. And guys, that's just about going to do it here for game five. Always pivotal. And now we look ahead to a critical game six. But a huge win tonight for the Pacers. Well, the one thing that jumps out in this game is the free throw shooting which they did a much better job at. Absolutely. A, a, a big plus. And oftentimes your performance at the line can be the difference in a game. And I think tonight we saw that. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Victor Oladipo. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. Herder passes to Hunter. Outside Collins. Pass to Young. Hits the three-point bomb. And the first thing that jumps out at you about Young, that seemingly limitless shooting range and the spacing that affords for this offense. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. People were riding their obituary before this game, <laughs> but this win cast the series in a whole new light now, Greg. And listen, they've still got to win two more. But after seeing how they perform tonight, is there any doubt, Kevin, they're capable of it? I mean, we could be in the midst of a major comeback. No doubt at all. You're right. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Victor, you guys have been pushing the tempo, looking to get out and run, and it's working. Has that been a focus of late? Uh, we figured out that we got to play fast and uh, we got to play high tempo no matter what happens, and we got to stay together. So we got to just continue to keep working. Well, you certainly hit them first tonight, Victor. Thanks for your time. Kevin? Thank you, David. Great interview once again. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.